Welcome back guys to a new video. Now today's video is going to be a pretty cool video for you guys because I've got some new information about the brand new dino that will be coming to Ark Survival Evolved as well as some new tech stuff and there's so much information given to us in Community Crunch 99 guys so I'm going to probably cover everything today It might be in separate videos but there's going to be so much content coming to you guys today to make sure you keep up to date with everything that is happening with Ark Survival Evolved. Now, if you guys do enjoy this video, if you wouldn't mind dropping a like, that would really help me out. And if you wouldn't mind subscribing, if you're new to the channel, that would be great too. Every day we are getting closer to 50,000 subscribers, guys. So if you could just keep showing the support, the amazing support, that would mean a lot to me. But apart from that, we're just going to get straight in with today's video, talking about what is going on right now with, obviously, the new dino. And that is what we're going to do straight away, which, as you can see, introducing the otter. So as you can see from the picture here, the otter is going to be the brand new, I wouldn't actually call it dino, it's more of an animal coming to the game. Um, it obviously, it's a different, it's like, obviously, the prehistoric version of what we have now, but it is going to be introducing the otter. So this is, uh, obviously, it's a dossier, as you can see from here, and already by looking at it, it looks like a really nice friend. Um, um, obviously type of um, dino to have in the game usually some things that may look cute or whatever it is or may look really nice in the game most likely will end up coming to attack you or on you know within arc but this one as you can see it is a friendly dino but it's going to be in the game which is the otter it's an omnivore and as you can see it's everyone's f favorite furry friend the otter and from even from the dossier straight away you can see it's just going to be hanging around on your shoulder which obviously a lot of other creatures and dinos do on arc already when they're smaller but this one definitely looks like it's going to be a pretty cool companion to have in the game so I'm going to get straight into this. So, found along the island's many inland waterways, the otter has become exceptionally adept at hunting and foraging. These species of otter have uh, has to be particularly cunning because of its obviously because of its size, because it's quite small, and fierce competition for its preferred uh, food source, which is going to be fish. It is not a creature that excels at combat and would not naturally pose an intimidating threat to any other predators on the island. So, finding packs of river otters is simple enough. They're distinguished by their in, in, elongated bodies, bushy tails, and webbed feet. Their trusting and uh, obviously inquisitive, inquisitive nature, sorry, I couldn't even speak there, ensures that they're often hunted for their fur, but many prefer to obviously tame them because they become trusted companions. So obviously you can get fur from them, you know, their fur is going to be is very useful, maybe you can make some fur armor or something like that in the game, but obviously they're very trusted companion, and to be honest, I couldn't actually go and hunt one of these on the game, I'd actually feel too sad, like I have to tame them because they just look like such a cool, obviously nice tame to have, so I'm just going to probably get Get myself an army of otters just to chill around in my you know in around my base on arc it's probably going to be the main thing that i'm going to do because they do look really really cool but yes so we'll read a little bit more so there are a few creatures which provide the companionship that the otter does rather than traveling beside you it would prefer to comfortably rest on your back providing insulation and once domesticated it can be told to harvest fish on demand which can be a really good fo uh, food source for you guys because obviously you know you know you could go fishing yourself but, or you could get yourself an otter that will do it for you on the go um, with a specific goal in mind for uh, for obviously uh, from the fish that it consumed the otter has a knack for foraging silica pearls and can even yield a slight chance um, at finding black pearls within which is so awesome so you know I am really really looking forward to seeing what happens with more of the otter in the game it's like even things like I know a lot of people prefer when new dinos get released they see like obviously massive t-rex look-alike things and obviously that makes the game more exciting having something like that but even the smallest little guys like this make their impact on the game and I just feel like uh, you know it's, it's nice to have even like little things like this added into the game all the time because it just makes obviously when you play the game as much as we all do obviously you obviously go for, you tame every single dino there's always, always really a cool element of having an extra thing in that game just because just for different things it does and they're very useful sometimes so I'm pretty happy that the otter is coming into the game so I'd like to hear what you guys think about that so we're next going to be moving on to this, which is for you, for, for, you, for you who are living under the mesh, I couldn't even speak, for those who have living under the mesh and haven't been able to keep up with the news. Um, I wouldn't say that's very nice from the guys at Wildcard, but if you guys are subscribed to me, I always give you guys the news. Arc has entered its final stage of development towards version 1.0 and will officially be la launching on August the 29th, 2017. Um, so obviously that's what you know the official release is going to be now. Uh, there's been a lot of questions regarding what will happen with the, de the development of 
arc and whether there will be additional content added to the base game in, uh, obviously to new friends to tame new engrams to learn new items to craft gameplay optimization improvements and the answer to all of that is yes so one, obviously once the full game is going to be released there's still going to be so much obviously to come out guys so it's not like one i know like so many of you guys have said you've enjoyed obviously the build up to the full game everything you know the big updates that have happened in the last few months the last year and you're going to miss that but once the full game's out it's actually just going to make it even better because obviously things are going to get fixed more and um and because it's going to be the official disc game but there's still going to be so many updates because if you think about what, any other game let's uh, f let me just say for example rainbow six siege that's obviously on disc and stuff and it's the full game but there's still updates that come out for it all the time and that's the same with every other game there's always going to be updates constantly coming out so um we'll be continuing to work on the base game as well as um, plans for the future content in form of free updates and dlc paid and free so there is going to be free and paid things that are going to be coming along the way which obviously on this channel you will see absolutely everything so if you, then you know then you know is it worth maybe if there's something to buy is it worth to uh, obviously to pay for it and then you can watch my video when I, that i do on that and you guys can have a little understanding whether you want to actually buy it or not within which dlc it is but i will be covering everything that comes out of arc whether it be free or paid Today we'd like to give you a bit of an early preview of the tease, what you can expect later on of the obviously this month of release, in addition to the mystery beyond the tech cave, as well as our obviously the otter cute friend will be introducing some new tech items. So as you can see, the new tech sword with a dash charge attack as well as an armor piercing compatibility, a tech shield which can reflect incoming projectiles and bullets and can completely stop players uh, splash damage so that will stop any bullets coming towards your way, the tech light that can be attached or picked up from any surface and its self powered element shards or can be linked to generators. So that is obviously what is going to be coming out with, obviously, uh, with you know, there's going to be a tech sword, a tech shield, tech light, so it's going to light up your base. It's going to be so much of an easier way to light up your base. I don't actually usually make m uh, many tech bases, you know, more, to, to be honest, only if you're going to be like sort of PvP in because you want to have the most solid base. But I like, obviously, on my single player, I do have like some sort, you know, a lot of tech stuff, but I don't use it that much um, because I quite like the element of having a nice looking sort of stone base, you know, a nice looking one, you know, some great builds. I've seen so many brilliant builds on YouTube, which is what I've been following quite a lot. So obviously to add in, you know, they've obviously there's going to be so much more content coming out. The otter's going to be coming out as well as many dinos in the future. So you guys don't need to even need to worry about that. But yes, there's going to be the tech sword, the tech shield and the tech light coming out. So this has been the first video of today, guys, and there's going to be so many more today. There's going to be so much content. I think, you know, I know you guys love the days when there's obviously loads of information because then you guys see about three to four videos a day from me. So that is obviously something that you guys can look forward to later on. But this will be today's first video. But anyway, thank you for watching today's video. Make sure to drop a like if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Get me towards that 50,000 subscribers every day. Also, if you would like to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, the links are always in the description down below for so much more getting you know a lot of you guys are starting to follow me on twitter and you know you'll find out lots of information quicker and easier and um obviously you know you can prepare for whenever i upload a new video you guys will know because i tweet it out and everything so make sure to go follow me there but anyway guys thank you for watching um this video so many more to come today and i'll see you in the next one thank you for watching guys